This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. I'm always telling people in the New Hampshire Liberty community, if you do if you do something cool for New Hampshire Liberty, but no one knows you did it, or few people know you did it, it's about the same as not doing it. In that spirit, I'm going to continue my tale about some of my talk radio adventures. Around 2012, I was able to use talk radio as a venue to ambush interview Kelly Ayotte, the senator for New Hampshire, uh, the, the Fed senator. I think they were droning on and on about how great it would be or how great it was to have new, incoming, more flexible rules on who they could arrest. Of course, this was all related to terrorism. I told Senator Ayotte that I wasn't very afraid of terrorists, but I was afraid of her. And I didn't last very long on that one. I was on Jack Heath's show. Now, Heath was, uh, I think... I think he used to run the news department at WMUR, the TV station, the main TV station in New Hampshire. And now he's a radio host. He has a show called New Hampshire Today, but it's aired at different times. In this case, it was in the afternoon. And and lately, I've just determined that it's just too hard to get on his show. Uh, either he doesn't like my calls, or he, they really do seem to have packed shows, which I don't understand why talk radio hosts do that, leaving no room for people to call, really. It, it's so much extra work for them to book all these people to show up uh, or, or call in. Or maybe they just want to hear themselves and the people who agree with them. Although, I will admit, I did. I sent Jack Heath a complaint about this and one to his boss. And Heath was actually very nice about that. He did. He, he responded to me himself and you know, tried to lay out the reasons why he often wasn't able to take my calls. I just quit calling. It, it was good enough for me to, to have an explanation. There are other places that actually welcome calls. So There was another time, I guess it would have been around the same time, maybe around 2012, I was able to call in when former Governor uh, John Sununu, from, who was also from, from the Bush administration, he was on, and I was able to call in, and I think, you know, pretty gracefully talk up the idea of New Hampshire independence. They were complaining about something, and um, I think I called in, and I said, so, I guess if, you're, if you're complaining about that federal thing, I guess you must, you must be a supporter of New Hampshire independence, uh, Governor, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it when you bring that up, especially back in 2012, it's one of those things where, yes, you could, I guess, just bring it up and hope for the best. But if you bring it up in a way that's relatively lighthearted, you can play up the fact, you know, that you can play to our advantage the fact that people don't take it seriously. If they don't take it seriously, that means they're not thinking civil war. They're not thinking slavery. And I've had many good experiences doing this. You might have seen the time where I talked to Governor Jindal about it. Uh, and this was on the Ridley Report. It wasn't. It wasn't on talk radio, so you actually may have seen it. He was giving a news conference, and I, I piped in with that. You know, a question about New Hampshire independence because what was he griping about? Well, he was griping about the Obama administration, something that they had done. It always gives you a, a chance to bring up a solution to people's complaints about the Democrats or the Republicans or the Feds. No one usually will object to you coming up with a solution for their problem in, in discussion. So same thing. Governor Jindal reacted just much like Governor Sununu said. You know, he just, he was just, they were just both amused rather than being hostile toward the idea. Uh, no, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.